Good evening and welcome to another Monday Night Live at Cafe Gratitude. Tonight we have a panel of Sonoma County breast health experts called Be Your Own Breast Friend. That was hilarious. Thank you, Renee. I thought that was awesome. And you kind of have to almost pose when you say it, right? Like, be your own breast friend. <laughs> so before I get started, of course I have some business to take care of. And it goes a little something like this. It's one of my greatest hits. Y'all can sing along at this point. Um, Monday Night Live newsletter, if you're not on it, sign up because you get two emails a week. One gives you information on the upcoming speaker, including a five minute audio interview with that speaker so you can tell if you're interested. The other will give you access to that video of the most recent video, the video of the week, your gift for being on here, which means if you can't make it some weeks, you'll still get to see the events, which are pretty amazing for the year. All right, so tonight, Breast health, be your own breast friend. We all know that we're living in a time when not just, not just breast cancer, but other cancers are just exponentially growing. One in four people or, le or more are ending up with some kind of issue. Breast cancer has been a real hot topic, um, especially with Marin being one of the highest numbers per capita of people with it. And in talking to my friend Deanna here at the end, I was trying to put together a panel on women's health and she was, she was like, let's do breast health. Let's try to take the stigma off of, let's, and actually I forgot to tell you this, Solomon back there was talking about, he was, he was telling me that he was telling people about this panel and he was saying we're doing a breast health panel and people kept hearing him say the word cancer when he never said it. I don't want to come do a breast cancer thing. And he was like, did I say that? Like, I don't think I said breast cancer. So that was kind of our whole point was that there's, there's so much fear around it. And I think Deanna said it on our interview, like why would you want to go into doing something like a breast exam when you're seeking out cancer? Like you don't want, you don't want to find what you're looking for. Why would you look? So this is, this is some information to help us keep our breasts happy and healthy never getting anywhere hopefully near the part where we're finding the problems. We'll, we'll get to it, we'll just eradicate the imbalances hopefully beforehand. Um, I'm gonna very gracefully clamor over behind. Okay, so who we've got uh, to my right directly. We've got Erin Pruka, who's a California board and nationally certified acupuncturist and Chinese herbalist. Her specialty is women's health. Next to her, we have Melissa Patterson, a naturopathic doctor, working with women's health and collaborating with the Thermography Center. To her right, we have Miss Elaine Wheel, who I've known for about 20 years and adore. So it's been like 20 years. I know. Don't do the math. Don't try to figure it out. So Elaine, <laughs> Elaine is an NP and clinical nutritional consultant with 16 years of providing holistic health care for women. To her right, we have Renee Russo. She owns the Breast Thermography Center of Sonoma County, and if you don't know of it, you should. Next to her, on her right, we have Carrie Hayworth. Um, did I not put you on the list? Well, Carrie is a lymphatic specialist and she does a lot of Ayurvedic, training, uh, Ayurvedic work. And on her right, we have Deanna Denard, doing also lymphatic specialist and Ayurvedic work, all specializing in women's health and specifically breast health. So pretty cool, right? Yes. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. And just so you know too, there is water in glasses. So if you guys need water, just we'll let it let them know. So I just did the quick sort of introduction. I'm gonna just give you all some time to go down the line and introduce yourself, your name and your specialty, um, what you do, where you practice, and how breast health became an area of interest for you. If you'd like to go ahead and start, Erin. Okay, so my name is Erin Pruka. I have a private practice in Santa Rosa on 2nd Street, and I also just recently opened up with another acupuncturist, the uh, Community Acupuncture Clinic sliding scale, so to help make it more accessible to people. 
Um, my interest primarily with acupuncture is in women's health and also in sort of the more spiritual sides of acupuncture, like the wellness of the body with the spirit and how you're living your destiny. Um, I got involved or interested in the breast health because I uh, started working with the thermography center and seeing that actually the meridians that get affected on the breast tissue are so directly related to the mental, psycho-emotional side. It's fascinating. And so I've done a couple of case studies with them and gotten some interesting results by moving that energy around through the breast tissue. And it almost to a T, if you ask someone, you know, do you have fear or do you tend to be irritable or those specific emotions that go with the specific meridians, it will, it correlates to where the hot spots are in the breast tissue. So I think acupuncture is an amazing remedy for um, people, let's say, to keep the breast tissue healthy. So that's why I'm interested in it on. <laughs> I'm Melissa Patterson, and I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I have a private practice in Sebastopol. And uh, my practice primarily focuses on women's health and chronic illness. And I really love working with women on all levels. Um, I have a very holistically oriented practice, and by that what I mean is I definitely focus a lot on the physical, you know, doing the clinical assessments and whatnot, but then I also really hold a large space for the emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of a person and their health and how it's connected and correlated to any physical symptoms that are presenting. And for me specifically, I got involved with breast health when at 26 years old I was diagnosed with fibrocystic breast disease and, or uh, fibrocystic breast syndrome, I should say. And started down the path of ultrasounds and mammograms at that young age and really wanted to find a different way. And so that is still something that I'm working with and I work with other people on, so I know it really intimately and very well. And uh, so that's one of the pieces that I'm gonna bring forward today. Hi everyone, my name is Elaine Weil and I'm a nurse practitioner. I work at a place called Amitava Medical Clinic and Healing Center, which is in Sebastopol. And um, we, we treat a lot of different kinds of things there, but we mainly, we treat a lot of people that have cancer. So we've seen a lot of women with breast cancer over the years, and then we also have a big women's health practice. So as a holistic or integrative practice, a lot of what we do is we try to figure things out. Like, why is this happening? Why, you know, we really don't have any answers to why women are getting breast cancer. We have clues. So we're, we're doing a lot of research. We're looking at um, doing testing to try to uncover what kinds of things are going wrong in um, women who are often eating well and leading a fairly healthy lifestyle. So um, some of the things that I'm going to share with you today are part of what we've come up with in looking at a lot of different people that have issues with breast cancer and trying to find out what some of the problems are that we can catch ahead of time, that we can work. So I'm happy to be here and thanks for coming. Nice crowd here. So. Hi, I'm Renee Russo. Um, as she said, I, my, me and my daughter actually own the Breast Thermography Center in Sebastopol. Looks like we're all from Sebastopol, so, well, except for Aaron. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, we do uh, breast screening and our focus is breast health. We are not looking for breast cancer, we're actually doing education around prevention. So that is really our main focus. We want to we want to get a baseline with a woman as early as possible. We start screening at age 20 because of that. We want to see what is healthy for you at age 20 and then monitor that scan throughout a woman's lifetime to make sure that there's no changes happening. And if there are changes, give you suggestions on how to clear those up before it turns into something more serious. So our main office is Sebastopol. We also scan in Ukiah, Napa, and Novato, and we also go to the Central Valley about three times a year to scan down there. There's nothing for the women in the Central Valley. So my interest in, in this particular industry is women's health and empowerment for women, having women realize they don't have to just sit around crossing their fingers, hoping it's never gonna be them. So that's really why we do what we do. Thank you. 